Good morning, good morning. Praise God, another wonderful week. Oh, we're looking forward to seeing what the Lord has for you. Amen. Good morning. This morning our artwork is Excalibur, King Arthur, the shield with the Excalibur sword. And uh, how many know we can't get access to the sword without pulling it from the Lord? Hallelujah. Jesus is the stone where the, where the Excalibur was buried uh, in the stone. And uh, it took a certain special anointing, a relationship, um, you know, uh, that allowed Arthur as a young lad to pull this sword out of the stone. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, Jesus uh, equips us, doesn't he, for battle. He equips us for um, our daily encounters and, and that sort of thing. And, and the way we uh, get ready for those encounters throughout the day is simply by having the bread and the wine. Praise God. And this morning we want to share communion together. So if you want to grab a piece of bread Good morning, Mary Mar. Good to see you. Wonderful communion on the beach yesterday. Um, uh, sorry, I don't know how to edit together three different pieces, so there's three different videos from yesterday. Uh, but anyway, um, we're going to have communion together, and that's where we find our wake-up authority to face the day. And each day, uh, it's a daily communion that we, that we have. And we know by the Word of God that Jesus is our lifeguard. Praise God. He is within you, and He's all around you. And as Camille says, that great cloud of witnesses is constantly around us, watching over us, praying with us. And uh, saints be praised. Hallelujah. And Jesus, we give you glory. Hallelujah. And this morning, Lord... We come before you, and uh, we want to lay hands on Norway, and we pray for uh, all the work of Youth of the Mission there in Norway, especially for uh, my grandson, Zeb. I ask you to bless them and be with them. And we pray for, uh, uh, we pray for the um, Fatima, which is coming up on its 100th anniversary this year. And we pray that also the word of uh, the visiting um, Lutheran uh, pilgrims who went to Rome. We pray for Germany and Rome. And uh, we pray, Lord, that as the celebration of the 500th anniversary of Protestantism takes place with the 95 thesis, that the new thesis for church unity will continue to explode and send ripples throughout the Protestant and non-Catholic community throughout the world. And uh, the miracle of Fatima, Lord, we, we thank you for the prayers of the 20,000 different groups over the weekend that uh, the United States needs Fatima. And we pray, Lord, that the manifestation of your life uh, comes to us in the uh, brightness of your mercy and that we know that uh, your mother... Our Holy Mother Mary is also praying with us to you for all these things. And we thank you, Lord, that uh, through the intercession of heaven, we can see this country, the United States, turned around to your glory and praise. And so we do lay hands on the United States. And we pray, Lord, from coast to coast and border to border, that you, Lord, that you, Lord, will intervene in the hearts of men and women and that you will uh, cause our hearts to be guided by your Holy Spirit in the days to come. We pray, Lord, for the miracle of Fatima to happen in homes, in hearts, in lives, and we pray that we might look for the brightness of your appearing in the sky. We thank you, Mary, for showing up and reassuring the people at Fatima a hundred years ago, and we pray that we might see those continuing manifestations of your glory and of your mercy, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We cast ourselves upon you. Amen. All right, friends, do you have your piece of bread? And uh, Steve Nordyke, God bless you, brother. It's great to see you. Hallelujah. Uh, if you grab your piece of bread and have your cup of wine, uh, let's, uh, let's 
share the uh, communion table together this morning, okay? All right, and we say, I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. On the third, uh, buried and descended into hell, and on the third day rose again, ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty to uh, judge the living and the dead. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And that's our, uh, that's our, that's our uh, confession this morning. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, be right back. <laughs> 